All right, so the antechamber save watcher. Uh, you probably want to use this if you're going to be running 120 signs. Uh, just recently we switched from 119 signs to 120. Uh, there's a clipping glitch right at the end of the run that we appended to the end of the 119 signs route. Uh, we can obtain the timer sign early. There's a couple of videos highlighted on my channel and also on my YouTube that uh, show you how to do that. So you would just append that to the end of the 119 route and that's how you get 120. But uh, for the save watcher what you want to do first is download it and the link to this github page will be in the video description and essentially there's some flags you can use to uh, more customize how your save watcher works but when you get to this GitHub page, uh, first place you want to go is releases. There's one release right now, which is the current version. Hit releases and you'll see uh, the list of releases. Uh, the one right now is version 0.2.2 and you can click this big green button to download it. Once you have it downloaded, uh, open up the folder that it's in. And let me just minimize this other stuff so it doesn't get confusing. Just put it wherever and you want to right click on it and create a shortcut. You have to create a shortcut, you can't just run the exe, it, it won't work. Uh, from there what you want to do is uh, right click on the shortcut and go to properties all the way at the very bottom and in the target field right after the quote add a space and then open up the github page again and you'll see these flags that you can use uh, yes Taylor twitch has new requirements now you have to have a certain uh, bitrate certain stream uh, encoding all kinds of stuff is new but back to the save watcher um, there are certain flags, arguments that you can append, such as uh, dash s for signs, dash c for cubes, g for guns, debug, no resize, and your path. Um, so going back to the target, if you do dash s, c, and g, it will track signs, pink cubes, and guns. So hit apply, OK, and run the shortcut. You'll notice uh, mine isn't configured uh, properly because my own save watcher fits in this area. Uh, the window for mine doesn't extend this far. So what I do is add an in to the end as well as the, the S, C, and G. I put an in as well and this will make sure that it doesn't resize automatically. You don't need the in, just uh, you only need it if you don't want it to automatically resize to a certain width. So once this is running and you have antechamber running, it should sync up and find your antechamber install and start displaying signs. So for example sign 2 and 3 just showed up because I just obtained sign 2 and sign 3. And yeah it should work perfectly fine like that. If not then um, what you'll need to add um, to get it to work is um, in the properties again. After all this, uh, put an F and then uh, you'll want to put this uh, next section inside quotes after a space. And what you want to do is browse to the location of your antechamber save game. So Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Antichamber, 
binaries, win32, and save game.bin. So copy all of this and paste it into these quotes right here. Sorry, my slashes don't appear uh, correctly. They appear as yin symbols instead for whatever reason. Um, and after Win32, add another slash and add saved game.bin. Make sure it is in the correct caps. S and G are capital. Dot bin. And then apply and OK. And it should pick up your save game if it didn't auto detect it before. So this section right here is all you would add to the target directory right after the dash F uh, argument. That's pretty much it for the save watcher. Uh, it doesn't automatically update. If an update comes out, then you'll have to check this GitHub page again and check the releases. Uh, it's all manual, manual right now. There aren't any user-friendly aspects or anything like that. But for now, that's all that the uh, Save Watcher does, and that's how you configure it.